My name is Caroline Wutoko. I am a work in progress. And um, let me just say why syntonomy for me is important before I talk about the lessons. Syntonomy um, validated a lot of things for me. However, I need to make a confession. Um, a lot of people probably heard about this course through my show. I've known uh, Washeke forever and a day. I heard about syntonomy through Susie, who heard it through her sister Nemo. And that's how I signed up, in spite of the fact that I was interviewing Washeke. So um, it, it, for me, it validates you are the average of the five people you hang out with. Um, if you're hanging out with losers, they'll never tell you you should go to syntonomy. And I'm lucky that Nemo told Susie, and then she repeated. Um, yes, she rewound happily. Um, Syntonomy also validated for me that destiny is about choice. It's not about chance. If you are in a place you do not want to be, you are one decision away from being where you want to be. It's as simple as that. It's not about chance, it's not about good luck, it's about choice. Um, and for those who keep thinking, well, that's not possible, wait a minute, I can't believe how many people are here. Who are you guys? Wow. Wow. Okay. Well done, Washeke. Um, if you want to go back to the Bible, I always say, I look at the prodigal son who says, I will get up and go back to my father. It's a decision you make. Destiny is about choice, not chance. Um, I was validated through those 10 weeks by the fact that I'm, reg I'm regulated, I'm regimental about the way I spend money. I'm the sort of person who buys this much hunger, this much toilet paper, and because, you know, I only spend so much time in my own home, I always tell my people, Mukimaliza, kabla mwishwa mwezi, mujipange. I don't do random shopping unless it's perishable, so Syntonomy validated that. It validated the fact that I'm the chick who fuels the car on Sunday and I top up the tank. I've never understood why you're driving around always putting in a G, it's crazy. Um, it validated the fact that, um, you know, I, I don't understand that because it, it just, the way your car works does not allow you to do that. Um, my car on a full tank takes me 12 days. If I don't go and see my day in South B, then it becomes 11 days. But I, I, I fuel on a Sunday. I fuel on a Sunday in the afternoon at 3 o'clock, and even my daughter knows. She says, we go put fuel. I'm like, uh -huh, let's go. Um, it validated the fact that I'm the chick who carries lunch. I love meeting new people who come to work for Radio Africa and Kiss 100 because they usually will see me at the microwave with everybody else. They go and whisper to my PA, Kwani Karua Mesota. And I, I, you know, I, I do not know why they think that, but it, it just, it's that whole thing of 150, 200 bob for lunch. Yes, once in a while I'll have a splurge, but I also realized I eat a lot better and um, I keep my weight down if I eat what is cooked at home. It's as simple as that. Um, Syntonomy also validated the fact that you ought to use other people's time and other people's money where you can. Um, a lot of people wonder, so you're a mother, you got three dockets, you MC events, you do this, you do that. Where do you get the time? I have other people's time. Christine um, has 10 hours every morning when she wakes up. Her 10 hours are mine. Grace's 10 hours are mine. George's 10 hours are mine. Rachel's life is mine. Rachel is my PA. Um, so while you wake up every day and you probably have 24 hours, have about, ooh, give or take, 30 plus another 12. I'm not doing too badly. So Syntonomy will teach you how to do that, but I'd always known that. Of course, my boss, of course, is the king because he has everything I have times 450 people. So it's why he's rich. So let me tell you what Syntonomy taught me. It taught me, you see, there's been life for me. I say there was life BC before Syntonomy. Um, and um, <laughs> there, there was just saying, I need to come to this class. And it's very important who influences you. Um, uh, Susie and, uh, and Nemo are those quintessentially Mogikoyo chicks. I tell everybody, I only have nyeri girlfriends. I don't have time for those chicks always whining about, he didn't call, he's late. I, I, give me my nyeri girlfriends any day. They're like, now, do you have a greda? <laughs> You know, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the girl who likes my Kikuyu girlfriends. I don't have time for nonsense. And um, Syntonomy puts you in a frame of mind that allows you to start thinking proactively about where the money is going to come from. There's a lot of people who think this is about budgeting. It isn't. Um, you know, you think about it, and yes, you drink bottled water, and you probably, you know, have... Um, 
eyelashes like mine, which I paid for, thank you very much. Um, and it costs money. So, you know, you get to a point where you know for a fact you love these things. Of course, there's a frivolity you'll get rid of. And what happens by week two is that you realize, okay, I like this. How do I continue to afford it rationally? And, and I, for me, that's what Syntonomy did for me. Is it rationalized every decision I made financially. Um, I, I, I always joke that I did not know what you could do with 6,000 shillings until Nduko came into my life. And I thought, that's a month of diapers. And here's the worst part. It's shit money. It literally goes away. <laughs> it's 6,000 bob gone. Um, obviously, Syntonomy got me to toilet train her quickly. We're not spending that money anymore. Madam has got to go to university one day. But it's literally how I perceived small money. Um, I think some of us are always sitting there waiting for the windfall, but the windfall actually doesn't come overnight. It comes over the way you just spend whatever it is you got. I, I've always said I'm cheap and I don't have a problem with that. I, you know, I live in, in, in Gashir. People call it Nyari, I call it Gashir. I can see Gashir from my window. And um, obviously, if you live in that area, your, your number one you know, shopping mall would be the village market. And I always say, I don't know who shops there. Even the guys in Runda don't shop there. We are at the Giri Rida, Tuskies, thank you very much. And, and I don't have a problem with a hang up about, oh, are you seeing a Nakomat, really? The only reason we go is that she gets to ride in that little car. And, and it's when we can't get something somewhere else. Um, I am a... I'm a brand ambassador for Blue Label at Nakamat. It's 10 shillings off. Um, I've never understood why we think that it's not okay to penny pinch. I'm a penny pincher. But then again, I wear a nice watch. So you decide, where does your money go? Okay? Because as my mother says, and you know, I hope I don't offend anybody, lonely me. I mean, get real. <laughs> get real about what it is you're spending your money on. Um, for me, my wow class in Syntonomy was a time value of money. And I used to do the evening class. And I remember coming out of this building and standing at the elevator, and we were all quiet for the first time in a long time, thinking, whoa. So my daughter is two. By the time she's going to university, it will cost three billion. I don't know. But for the first time, I began to realize I've got to project ahead and then work backwards. Because we tend to live pay slip by pay slip, day by day kind of, you know, waiting for that moment out in the sky to bring things home to you. And um, Syntonomy has also made me very clear about what it is I say to my daughter. I mean, every time we're somewhere, she says, Mommy, I want to, I'm like, do you have money? No. I say, I don't have money either. She's two and a half and we're ahead of herself, but then again, this is her mother, so that's what you need to know. Um, I was asked by Washeke, you know, to explain why you know, because you're crazy, because you sit there, believe all those stories on Gafla that I make a million. Ha! No, I don't. No, I don't. But, but that's a strange thing about, you know, the society we live in. What? I don't. I mean, you know, read the past all you want. But even my boss said this about um, Busi the other day. He says, I see Busi earn and tripled his salary on the internet. I said, yes. He said, I hope he's not going to try and live up to that. We don't pay anybody the figures that they lie to you about. But here's the thing. A lot of the younger people in the room here are trapped between this thing called rich and then wealthy. There's a difference. Rich means you're liquid. Every Kenyan's going to be rich on the 30th. You liquid, you can buy a rao or two. Wealthy means if you go to sleep and you don't wake up for two weeks, you go into a coma for two years, the money keeps coming, okay? And what Syntonomy teaches you is how to create wealth. Wealth means, um, like the lady who stood here before me said, you don't retire and panic that you don't sit there and wonder what's going to happen if I lose this job and you go crazy. So first and foremost, and, and I, I think for the more of the mature people in the room, this does not um, impede on you at all, but it, it is that difference between being rich and being wealthy. Get over yourselves and really get over the, what Washeke calls the flossets, the floss items. Um, whenever I'm at a university, I have to remind young people, I didn't buy my iPad, I wouldn't buy this thing, it's $1,000, why would I do that? Radio Africa bought this, stop trying to keep up with me. And I don't have a problem admitting that it is not mine. I haven't bought a phone in 12 years. I, I, you know, I, I look at the cost of a Samsung Galaxy, I'm like, 60K for what? I, I can't buy that phone, I just cannot. I have one. It was sent to me by Samsung. 
I would never buy it. I've got to be very honest. I would never buy it. So while you're trying to keep up with me, I'm sitting there thinking it's free. I've got two phones. I've got two phones. I've got a Nokia Lumia. I did not buy that thing. It was given to be my Mnet. I'm, I'm happy. I've got the latest gadgets, but every time I go into a shop, I'm like, why do people buy these things? And, and you know, half of the people who own these things work for me and report to me. And I'm thinking, I pay you. I know what you earn. Why are you with that phone? <laughs> Why are you using the same phone as I am? You crazy. It's, it's, it's the younger guys in the room who try and keep up with their CEOs. That man doesn't pay for anything. Not his green fees, not his golf clubs, not his car, nothing. You cannot be playing that game. So get over being rich. Think about being wealthy. Um, and also the so-called living the life, you know, there's, there's a madness in, in Nairobi, and I don't know whether it permeates every other structure of Kenya, but also this whole thing of keeping up and looking a certain way, when we all know there's no food in your fridge, you know, if we opened your fridge, it would whistle, it's empty. <laughs> um, uh, and I still meet people who um, find out where I do my hair, and they want to go there, and I'm thinking, you don't know what I'm making, you don't know whether I'm a car jacket by night, really? You know, I could be doing all sorts of things, dancing around naked, Illuminati, you know, you don't know. So, you know, don't keep up with this so-called everybody's doing it. And I hear this from a lot of people. And it has a lot to do with where you live, where you send your children to school. Why are you sending your kids to Kenton on a loan? I mean, really, why are you doing that? Well, because everybody does that. I think my children are going to Brook House, really? Really? I mean, good luck to you. If you're going to take Santonomy, work backwards from it. But you begin to realize, you know what? We didn't go to Brookhouse, and I think I'm just fine. I think I'm just fine.